Hey guys, welcome back to another Roblox Industrialist video. In this video, I'm going to be redoing the video, the how to use a steam turbine, since you requested it in the last post. So I'm going to make show you two types, one with geothermal wells, like last time, and one with fireboxes. This will include level 2, boilers, steam turbines, water pumps. Alright, let's get into the numbers. For the no pollution one, it'll cost ten thousand four hundred dollars and fourteen thousand one hundred fifty research points. Now for the pollution one. It's gonna cost you eight thousand fifty dollars and nine thousand five hundred fifty research points. Now the costs are not including the level two pipes, which I do recommend. And the research points do not include getting to the 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 path to the research. All right, let's get into building. So first, you're gonna place on your water pumps. If you're using water pumps level two, I I would recommend just two or three. If you don't have level two, then you're gonna have to. I don't know the exact number of level 1 water pumps you're going to have to do to get max e max efficiency but it's a lot all right now let's connect it all right now once you connected it you're going to use your heating source now i'm going to do the non-pollution one first and then I'll show you the one with the firebox so you're gonna get your geothermal wells and try to chain them up like this you can merge them a little bit like this So you're going to need the water to go through the yellow one, the yellow input. It'll come out this output. So you got to connect both of them, since only one GMO, geothermal well won't get the a th above a thousand degrees, which you need for your, the next step. Now once you got your heating sources connected, you're going to need a boiler. Now this is where people mess up the most. I'm going to talk slower for you to understand. Alright, face yourself towards the boiler and on the right input, this one. If you hover over it, it says hot water in. The geothermal wells make the water hot. So connect it in there, not the left one. Now. The output right next to it, the purple one, that's where the water is going to output. So you're going to want it to loop around the boiler to the input on the other, on the right side. Just loop it around. Now this is where the steam's going to come out. The purple one, purple output right next to it, the one on the left. Now for the final step. A large turbine. You can just connect it so, uh, close by. If you if you're using level one pipes here, I would recommend level two here because the steam goes really fast, and you need a lot of flow. Now I'm gonna connect around. Make sure it's all connected. Alright, so after this, then you're going to need a liquid pump, a liquid dump. So this will, the water will come out here. It will cause no pollution because it's water. I would not recommend looping it back in because it'll get clogged up and then 
you won't get power. Now this is where I do something different. In the last, in the other one, I would put wind turbines to power it, but you can just use a turbine energy to power it. Now you're gonna need external force of power to power uh, to start it up, which just use your wind turbines. Like this. Now it's starting to work. Water's going in. Water's going out. Hot water goes in there. And now once this will get to 100 degrees, it will start producing steam. Now, you might need a little bit more external power than a couple turbines. And that's fine. If you don't have the money, you can just get power from your starting source. Now, it's heating up. You're going to have to wait a little bit. Now, once your steam turbine reaches 100 degrees, it will start producing steam. You can see here. Now, when you hear uh, your turbine starting up, you know it's working. So you can just delete your wind turbines or any external power source. It will sustain itself. Now, you can just put a battery and you got your power. Now for the firebox. It's firebox steam turbine. Alright, so you're not gonna need ge these ge geothermal wells. I'm gonna use the same setup. Alright, so you're gonna need obviously your your firebox. If I, if I can find it. Here. This will cause pollution though. So there's two inputs. There's one for your coal and one for your water. Since it needs coal, you're going to need a coal drill. Now if you just, if you're using tier 1's, you can just use two tier 1's. Since they produce a lot. But they will cause more pollution. If you do, if you're using tier 2, then you need like 4 of these. Which, if you're using tier 2, then I would recommend just using the geothermal wells. Now connect the solid input with coal. Now connect your water. I made it weird. Now it's gonna output here. So you gotta connect it to your steam turbine. In the exact same spot I showed you last time. Now connect it. Like so. And now you're going to need your external power source. The, uh, the firebox does not require power.
You know it's working when it's starting to burn the water and heat it, heat it up. You can hear it working. Alright guys, that's all for today. Bye!